The earned income credit is a special tax benefit for lower income workers. It is actually a credit that can be claimed when filing a federal income tax return. It results in less or no income tax and in some cases even a refund against the income tax. As an employer, we can offer an advance against the earned income tax credit. To do this, what we'll do is actually add a payment to an employee's wages throughout the year. By doing this, we will afford the convenience of our workers to get that advance each payday rather than waiting until tax time to claim the credit. Now there are some restrictions. Wage earners have to earn less than a stated amount. They also have to have one child living with them. There are some other conditions that must be met to qualify for it. You will note that the Earned Income Advanced Payment Certificate is the IRS Form W-5. This form will also give you more information about who actually qualifies. It's also important to keep in mind that as an employer, we do not use our own funds to make these payments. Our federal tax deposit is actually reduced by the payments that we give to the employee. QuickBooks helps us with these advanced earned income tax credits. Actually, QuickBooks will automatically calculate the advance for us. We simply set up the employee, and when we pay the employee, QuickBooks adds the payment to their paycheck. This is done through a payroll item. When you download the tax tables from QuickBooks, it'll take care of all of these additions for you. Let's go inside of QuickBooks and see how this actual system works. First, I will go to Lists and under Lists down to the Payroll Item List. Here you'll notice that there is an actual item called Advance Earned Income Credit. Now, of course, I set that up just using a new item. Let's take a look at how easy the screens were to fill out. First, it was named Advance Earned Income Credit. Remember that prints on the employee's check, so it's nice to have it very clear for them to understand. On our next screen, the liability account that we will offset the entry to. In this case, it's the payroll taxes payable account. On our next screen, it'll check whichever accounts are actually going to be affected. Now keep in mind, nine times out of 10, the defaults are going to be just fine. If for any reason your accountant tells you to deselect some items, go ahead and do so. But unless you've had a conversation, there's a specific uh, unique circumstance, the defaults will prevail. On our next screen, if you have pre-tax deductions, they will also come into play. So once again, the employee portion of health and uh, benefits program have been checked, and that's it, you're finished. The second part of this step now is to actually set up our employee. Let's go to our employee center. In the employee center, let's go ahead and edit Vicki. When I edit Vicki, I'm going to go to the payroll and compensation area. Here I'll select taxes and you'll notice there's a check mark next to advance earned income credit. That means Vicki is going to see that addition on a paycheck. Let's close out of here now and let's actually do a paycheck for Vicki so we get the feel of it. I'm going to choose to close out of the employee center, go to employee and go into pay employee. I'm going to put a check mark next to Vicki and simply select her. You'll notice in this particular case that I'm going to accept the default of $12 an hour for 18 hours and you'll see that the advanced earned income credit was added back into Vicki's check. Let's go ahead and save and close and let's complete the payroll process so we can see the effect this check will have on our liabilities. I'll simply select create payroll. It tells me that I've been successful and I'll close out. Now let's go up to reports. We'll go down to our payroll report and let's actually look at a payroll liability balance. In the payroll liability balance, you will notice that we see now no line item for that advanced credit. However, Vicki's check was in December, so we'll simply go in and change our dates. When we change our date to December, you'll notice the advanced earned income credit shows up and in December, this is the amount that was pulled out. If we double click on this, 
what we actually see is that there's a duplicate check for Vicky in here. Now this is okay because remember in QuickBooks, one of the purposes of the reports is to proofread. If I see a duplicate such as Vicky's check, I'll simply double click to open it up, go up to edit, and delete this paycheck. When I say okay, I'll close out of my check screen, I'm back into my payroll liability item, and I'm back to one paycheck. We'll close back out of our liability screen, and you'll see the $24 that came off of Vicki's paycheck has now been added as a credit to my payroll liability report.